Hello, friends. Hi, Hello. we're now at Kona. Here we are at House of Peace. It's a much different environment. We definitely miss our host family back. Yeah, a lot. And a lot of the views of the ocean and the farm and the wind and a lot of things to miss over there. But this is definitely going to work better for our project, isn't it? Oh, yeah. There's yeah. so many things to forage, like so many. Lots of good things to forage. Yeah, just oh, yeah. in a small little area here. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to take you on a little tour and just show you some of the plants that are already here in the area we get to work with. This is House of Peace, a traditional country inn where people come from all over the world to see Hawaii. It's just about an acre of land, which might not seem like a whole lot, but it's very diverse. This is the area we get to work with that our host family has given us. So there's this whole kind of cliffside and a lot of area down here. There's our little place back there. And there are a ton of plants. Most of these are considered weeds, but as I'm sure you know, often weeds have <laughs> edible properties, medicinal properties. So we want to try to learn as many of these plants as we can. This is taro. There's coconut. This is a baby coconut. And here's a little bit older. Cute, huh? Lilikoi or passion fruit, that's a family favorite. This is pataya or dragon fruit. A lot of these plants need some help. So part of what we're going to do here is to try to help the plants out and get them so that they can be fruiting. Bamboo. This is breadfruit. It's, we're so blessed to have this on the property. That breadfruit is an amazing, amazing staple. You can do all kinds of things with it. Again, this is just a tour to see what some of the plants are that we have here. We'll be going more in depth into how you use these in the future, but just wanted to show you around a little bit. Hibiscus, famous for hibiscus tea. Check this out. This is wood sorrel like we had back in Wisconsin. And right over here is wood sorrel like they have in Hawaii. Oh my goodness. These are wild lint chocolate truffles. <laughs> no. So the girls have been harvesting macadamia nuts. We'll probably do a video just on mac nuts sometime so you can see. It's pretty amazing how thick these shells are. But these are arguably the world's healthiest nut. Really amazing. Papaya. Family favorite for all of us. There's a ripe one, that yellow one. I'll have to get up there and get that one. There's coffee on the land. We're going to try to make a little bit of our own coffee, but more importantly, the cherry, the red part of that, is edible. Usually discarded by coffee growers, but quite delicious and nutritious. Today's harvest, breadfruit, papaya, coffee, more papaya, avocados, more avocados, lemons, macadamia nuts. Wow, so much abundance. So basically we have a lot more foraging options here and this land that we get to grow whatever we want on. We've just been given freedom to make it beautiful and make it yummy and nutritious. So that's our adventure, you guys, and we're gonna go for it bring you along for the ride you'll we'll hopefully learn lots of new plants get to there's also mango on the land and we have easy access to lots and lots of avocado get to see the dishes that we make out of them and otherwise boy be part of our adventure and of course there's tons of plants we haven't learned yet we are just beginning to get to know this land and the plants that are here so you can see there is a multitude of food available for us and there's probably a multitude of food around you as well yeah. if you start to develop the eyes to look for it. So grab some friends, grab a guidebook, get out and start foraging or at least harvest from your garden. I want to encourage you, we all want to encourage you to pick a percentage for this coming month and see if you can meet it, even if it's 5%. But whatever you guys are going to 
to do, it will be awesome. Let us know the percent you're going to go for or just what you are getting out of your garden or foraging right now. Can't wait to hear. Thank you for coming along on our adventure, my friends. Mwah, Love to you all. Aloha. Aloha. Aloha.